Hey man, shout out to Black Hustlers Club. That's for the credit for the video. So I seen this, um, and I'm looking at the the backlash uh, of people being upset, and you know who who is uh, as divided as we are uh, about this man, this black man popping his little daughter. You know, it wasn't a spanking, it wasn't a full on assault, but it was just like a warning shot because uh, she's twerking. You know what I mean? And I'm like, this little girl couldn't be no more than, let's say, what, four or five, six years old? I don't know. How many of y'all remember seeing little girls twerking when y'all was four or five years old? I don't recall seeing that. that you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> girls just, what is it, a natural instinct to just put their hands on their ankles, bend over, and start, like, no, man. And shout out to the father delegation out there, the real fathers that was proud of this man. This man should be applauded not ridiculed for the way he's raising his daughter. You're going to basically judge this man and how he's raising his child based off of, what, a five-second clip on the Internet? Come on now. Now, did he need to put it out there? You know, that's a whole other conversation. Did he need to put it out there? Who knows? Or maybe this was his way of showing, look, this is what the fathers out here need to do. Because there's a lot of fatherless women out here, and you can tell most of them are the ones running around in the street, running around uh, talking about nobody ain't got no money, they want to go to the strip club, they this, they that. I see one girl in the comments talking about, oh, this is wrong because if, if she lets her father hit her, she's going to think that that's what men should be doing and she's going to be in a domestic relationship. I'm like, no, that sounds like you got daddy issues and that's your life you're talking about. <laughs> like, first of all, this like people are going way too far with this. Like I say, I, I'm not a father. I'm not. I put that out there, but I have nieces, nephews. I've been a, a child you know right from wrong. And if you don't know right from wrong, it's your parents' responsibility to teach you right from wrong. And I don't know which that girl does around her her, her her mother and the other girls she's around, but she's mimicking behavior that she's seeing. I mean, Sexy Red and, and that other girl, they just put a video out the other day of them twerking in front of a Popeye's joint, right? You know what I mean? Like this is the kind of stuff that's being out here that you're seeing on the regular basis when you pull out your phone or you look on TV, the strip culture, Strip culture has been pushed in the black community real heavy the last 20 years. Atlanta, especially, uh, all of the Houston, this lifestyle is being so heavily pushed. It's got to take a, a, a domino effect at some point. I'm not surprised. But the fathers out there, and got to say the fathers, because sometimes the mothers are the ones that the, the little girls is learning it from. They learning it from mama and then they seeing mama twerking in the mirror, getting ready to go to the club every Friday night. And they like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They see you know I me. Mean? So sometimes it takes the father, if there's one around, to really put stuff in order. Now, there's two phases of an ass whooping also. Stage one is a popping. You get a pop. You get a pop on your hand from your mom or you get popped upside the head from your pops, your dad, no pun intended. That's a warning shot. Like, hey, don't do that. That's a warning. That's what that was to me. That was a warning. It wasn't a full-on assault. I'm taking my belt off and I'm about to whoop your ass, take you to the woodshed. Now, that's different. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> for a little girl, I don't know what a, a, a little girl would have to do to get that type of treatment. But, I mean, for this man just popping his daughter because he's seen her twerking and he's probably thinking he's having flashbacks. Like, oh, hell no. I don't want my daughter to be out here like these other women I went to high school with that's now on Facebook selling coochie for $40. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want that. And I know it's hypocritical men. We go to strip clubs and all of this other stuff, but you don't want your daughter to be like the women that you desire naturally. You know what I mean? Who wants to their daughter to be out here uh, being basically being ran through, being the jump off? You know what I mean? You don't, don't want to want that. Like, a sexy red, believe it or not, that little girl has a father somewhere out here and he's got to look at her and be like man what did i do wrong she's running around here talking about she's had chlamydia she's just she's trash bro and these are the type of women that are being pushed on young women out here and so when you see young black girls uh practicing behavior like this learn know that they learned it from somebody these girls don't just pop out the womb twerking as a baby like that is learned behavior and I applaud this father, whoever he is, for putting his daughter in line. And hopefully his daughter don't turn out like some of y'all other kids will and have already are. You know, but that's just me. Let me know what y'all think. Um, if this man went too far, should he be getting any backlash? Just one thing for a man, usually black men, we got this stereotype that we don't take care of our kids. 
So you already got that going up against you. Now you're being ridiculed for a five second video or you disciplining your child. Like, come on. There's, there's a difference between discipline and just flat out like destruction. Like I, I know people who told me they got beat with all kind of things. Like their mother used to come to the ring with a shopping cart of, of weapons like Mick Foley. Like it got beat with a, a hot wheel track. You know, a rod, a hanger, a blow dryer, anything. You know, anything their mother could get their hands on. It was like Eddie Murphy had that joke where he would, his mother would be a killer with a shoe. She could pick her shoe up and hit it at you on any corner, any level of the house. Like, you know, like some people went through that. Me, we we kept it pretty simple in my household. It was either a belt or you got a hand. But some people went through way more. Um, I don't know, tragedy, I guess, in their discipline growing up. And look, you don't have to do it the way your parents did it, but there's got to be some form of discipline because, I mean, these kids will just go wild and crazy if not, if there's none given. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.